How are you guys? Welcome back to my channel again. Um, Prime Tech Automotive. Today I'm going to show you guys how to adjust the valve clearance on a 4 M41 Mitsubishi Triton's Pajero's um, just using the same engine, 3.2 litre turbo diesel, 4 M41. So I removed this engine out from the car to do many jobs such as injector pumps, timing chains, some pre seal, rear main. So I thought at the same time just do the valve clearance as well. So I'm just going to perform a valve clearance adjustment. So first of all, I you need to remove the rocker cover to get access to the rocker arms and the camshaft. So it's pretty easy job. Just remove all the um, 10 mils balls around the rocker cover, and then you have access to the um, the cam mechanism. So what I did, I turned the engine um, clockwise and got the timing marks lined up to this angle. So the um, exhaust cam on this angle, exhaust cam on the other angle. So it's like a V shape if you if you run through a line. So if you look at um, here, the timing mark. So it's on TDC, which is zero. So that's number one piston is in top dead center. So at the time, you can adjust on intake side, one, two, three, four. So first four rockers, you can adjust. And also on the exhaust side, you can adjust number one and two on number one cylinder. And on number three cylinder, rockers as well. So I'm going to do the adjustment in two rounds. Sorry, one round. So complete these intake rocker arms and two exhausts. Then I'm going to turn the engine 180 degrees and do the rest. So that's the easiest way to adjust the occurrence on the four-cylinder engine. So here we go. So the valve clearance on this engine um, I've seen if you do very cold engine, um, that's the best, you can get the best performance. So inlet is 0.10 millimeter and the exhaust is 0.15. So, so you need um, 12 mil socket with the ratchet and Philip screwdriver. So you need um, so 0 0.10 millimeter um, feeler gauge and um, exhaust 0 0.15. So I'm going to feed the feeler gauge in, and it's, it's going in very freely. So that means it has the valve clearance is um, excessive. So I need to adjust these two, and also I'm going to check the rears too. Yeah, they all has changed like oh it looks like the valkyrians has adjustment hasn't done for a long time and i'm going to check the intakes too and even the intakes are too loose so i have to adjust um all of them so i'm going to do the um intake side first so loosen all the 12 mil nuts here one two three and four so what you got to do, guys? Yeah. So you need to turn the the middle screw. So feed the feeler gauge in, and turn the middle screw until you feel some resistance onto the feeler gauge. Do not put it. Don't do like this too much tight, and which you can't remove the feeler gauge out. Just lose it. Keep losing. Keep losing. There you go. So just to touch and slide inside the um, cam lobe and the rocker cover in between the rock. Oh, sorry, in between the rocker arm and the cam lobe. So I feel that's pretty much okay. And then while holding the screw, I'm gonna hand tight this and take it off and then tighten the um, lock nut and then feed the 
feel again, Jin, and see. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. So here I'm going to do the second one too in the same way. Feel that's pretty much okay. Yeah. So the other way you can do while holding the screw, you can use a spanner and lock the lock nut and then double check. I feel like it's a little bit loose, so I'm gonna do a little bit more tighter. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Just the same way I do the others too. Same way guys, so that's too loose. So keep tightening, keep tightening. Unless you feel some resistance to the feeler gauge. Don't go really hard like too tight. And you will have the um you will, you won't have any clearance. So I feel that's okay. So then while holding the middle screw. Lock the um, lock nut. Yeah, that's pretty much okay. And the last one on this uh, cycle. That's beautiful. Perfect. So I'm going to leave that there. Check them all again. Just see um, everything okay, nothing changed. Yeah, that's perfect. And that's okay. And even that's okay. Yeah, everything seems fine. So I'm going now now I'm gonna do the um, exhaust side. It's pretty much the same way, but you're gonna use the um, 015 millimeter filler gauge. But the adjustment cycle, adjustment procedure is same way. Here we go, so I'll loosen the um, actual check nut and I'm gonna use the screwdriver similar to uh, intake side and keep tightening until you feel resistance. That's how I feel like that's okay. Tightening the lock nut while holding the center screw. That's perfect. And that's this one here. So that's done, so now I can do the number third cylinder, um, two rocker arms. Oh, this guy already um, from the um, well adjustment on the intake side, as I mentioned earlier, um, number one and two cylinders, and on the exhaust side, number one and three. So I'm gonna turn the engine 180 degrees and get the timing mask downwards and do the number two and, sorry, three and four on the intake number two and four on exhaust.
right, guys. I um, I turned the engine, um, the crankshaft um, another round. Um, I got lined up the exhaust and intake cams to the um, second cycle adjustment. So now you can do number three and four cylinder on the intake side, number two and four on exhaust side. So it's pretty much the same way, similar way that, that I've done earlier. So I'm not going to show that um, on this video. So I um, hope this will help someone one day. Um, that's my target. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, keep in touch for more videos to come on my channel. Um, if you see any videos, um, more ideas of what you guys have, please leave a comment, like and share, subscribe to my channel. Um, thank you for watching.